Okay, I am going to show you how to edit using DocuSign. I have to preface this with that DocuSign is not an editor. We're going to use the tools that they have to edit, but it is not editing software. It is for signing. So there's a couple steps that you must do or you'll be sad if you didn't. Okay, so let me get a document one moment. Actually, I also want to show you, uh, some people get confused about this send a document, sign a document. You would almost always never use sign a document because that means that you are signing it only. Sending a document means somebody else is signing it. So I'm going to obviously send a document. I also want to talk a little bit about uh, this cool feature that many people aren't aware of. And if you go into my class, which I'm just creating an online course about uh, DocuSign, because there's so many misconceptions about it. So you want to, you can actually get from the cloud. So if you've set it up, you can actually go from any computer anywhere in the world and grab that document. You don't have to be sitting at your own computer and get the document from your hard drive. Now I happen to be sitting at my office so I'm just going to go grab that document from my hard drive which is actually in the cloud as well. So I could do it either way. So actually maybe I'll show you how to get from cloud. So get from Google Drive. One moment. Okay, so here is my whole folder structure on my computer. So I also talk a lot about this when I'm training uh, at events, when I'm speaking at events and clients, because a lot of people download Dropbox or Google Drive, but don't actually use it. This is everything on my hard drive. And that means if I, um, my computer dies or something happens, no big deal, it's a pain, I go get a new computer and I just download everything back to my new computer. So I can go and get my documents that are saved on my hard drive from Google Drive. Okay, so process is the same, I've uploaded a, a fake document, I'm just going to put um, this is what I always use. If you don't know who Fred is, then uh, <laughs> you're too young. Okay, so I'm just going to add Fred. Uh, I could have him sign remotely, or if he's sitting here, I can say sign in person. Also, another option that lots of people don't know is that you can also say that, let's say it's a deal and after everything's done, you can, what most people do is they get their clients to sign it, they get the completed document, then they send the completed document off to the other realtor. You don't have to do that. It takes a little bit of different thinking, but honestly, once you've done it once, you'll say, why have I not always done this? So you can actually say, get Fred to sign it, get Wilma to sign it, and then after everybody signed it, send the other agent the completed document. So that's just a little tip there. Okay, I'm just gonna do one and we'll start the process so I can show you editing. Okay, here we are. And of course, this is a Vancouver deal because the price is so high. <laughs> what I want to do, and I have to again say it, I know I said it before, but this is not what DocuSign is used for, but we're going to use this to do this. So text field, I'm going to put the text field over this amount and I can move this around. Okay to cover the whole amount. Now I prefer to use dashes because X's, unless you know how to do it, they'll actually cover the whole amount and then people can't see it. So dash, 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 and see what's happening over on the right hand side. That is where the fields are getting complete, okay? So there's my, one more dash. Okay, L oops, that's one too many, okay. So that's how it's going to look. I can move this around if I want it to be exactly through the amount, okay? The kicker is with DocuSign is that you have to say this field is going to be read only. Because if you don't, when you send it to the client, they can change whatever's in this field. And also, people 
say, well, I don't want that yellow on there. The yellow will disappear. It's really just for you as you're, you know, editing in quotation marks, okay? Once it goes to the client, and I'll show you what this will look like, uh, that'll just be stri uh, a strike through. So wait one sec and I will send it off and you can see what it looks like from a client. I'm actually going to add, I'm gonna add the text box here, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing. Now I can add the text here or I can go over here and add the dash. It doesn't matter how I do it. But for this purposes, I am going to leave this and I'm gonna show you how bad that is if you do that. Looks identical from you from this perspective, but watch what happens. Okay, this is the email that the client will get. So they would review the document. And then what you'll see, I just did those two fields, right? So if I scroll down here, of course I didn't have them do any initials or signatures, so that's why it's not showing anything. But see the strike through is here, perfect. But look what happens in the field that I did not check off reply. I, as the client, can edit it. That's bad. So please make sure that you check off um, read only. That's really, really, really important. Okay, happy docu signing. Hope that helped. Any questions you can ask in the discussion box in the course.